Hello friends! In this review we will test the special DC-DC converter, which is step up and step down at the same time. Let's connect it to the power source and check how it works. Everything is connected, let's turn the power supply on. First of all let's decrease the output voltage to detect the minimum. So 1.2 volts, this is the minimum. Now let's increase the voltage. thirty two volts. Let's set the voltage to five volts, then increase step by step and see how the car bulb will behave. So we have five volts at the output, twelve volts from the power supply. Let's connect the car bulb. One point seven amps at the input, three point two amps at the output. Let's increase the voltage. Six volts, seven volts, eight volts, nine volts, ten volts, eleven volts. The power source voltage decreased to ten point one volts, and at the output of this device can provide only eleven and four volts. As to the amperage, it's not more than five and a half amps. Let's measure the temperature. Sixty two. I can conclude that this device can withstand the load not more than 5 amps, but at the same time, at this amperage, it cannot provide step up conversion. Let's change this car bulb with this one, which is 20 watts maximum. First of all, let's decrease the output voltage and turn on the device. The input voltage amounts to 12 volts, and now let's increase the output voltage. Let's increase the voltage up to 14 volts. So it's not a problem for this car bulb. Here we have approximately 15 volts, here approximately 2 amps. So this device can freely withstand the load of 30 watts. As to the temperature, 'Maybe this device had not enough time to be cooled. Sixty. Let's increase the input voltage by two volts. So in case of twelve volts here we have two point nine amps, and in case of fourteen volts at the input here we have two point five amps. Let's decrease once again. The output voltage is the same, so the stabilization function is OK. Let's decrease the output voltage and increase the load. The second one is also 20 watt car bulb, and now let's increase the voltage and see the result. So I try to increase more and more and the maximum voltage for this load is 14 and 3 volts. The maximum output power in such conditions for this device is 64 watts. So in view of all the above mentioned, I can conclude that this device is not 8 amp device, not 6 amp device, but maximum 4.5 amp DC-DC converter. But anyway, in case of this current, I would highly recommend to use the cooling solution here. Maybe it's the universal one, because it can provide the voltages from approximately 2 volts to approximately 32 volts, and it's at the same time step up and step down converter, but this device definitely isn't an 8 amp device. The frequency in idle mode is approximately 5 kHz, but as soon as we turn on the car bulb, the conversion frequency is 147.3. Kilohertz, approximately 150 kilohertz. 
Thank you very much for watching. Till next time.